On an average day in May 2007, the day after her son's birthday, Lori Coble loaded up her minivan with her mom Cindy and her children, Kyle, five, Emma, four, and Katie, two. Family went to a mall fair where Kyle especially enjoyed the Ferris wheel and the petting zoo. Prior to the kids' nap time, the Cobles got back in the minivan and headed home. Lori hit a line of backed up traffic as she tried to exit the highway. While stopped, Lori turned around to her youngest daughter and tickled her tenderly on her foot. She had no clue it would be the last time she'd see her daughter laugh. A big truck carrying 20 tons of electronics driving 70 miles per hour then crashed into the back of the minivan and demolished it. The two adults were knocked unconscious while the children were severely injured. The trauma was so bad that emergency medical officials had to split the family up to separate hospitals for emergency care. They sent Cindy and Lori to one hospital, Kyle and Katie to another, and Emma to a third. Lori's husband, Chris Coble, remained updated, but as he soon learned, even the best experts were unable to save the children. Chris Coble, Lori's husband and the father of the children, was at work when authorities notified him of the accident. He rushed to the hospital where Lori and Cindy had been taken. Shortly after his arrival, he received consecutive calls saying both of his little daughters were dead. Since Lori's body had suffered the horrendous impact of the accident as well, she had no recollection of the incident. Chris, already mourning, had to inform her that their daughters were dead, while still holding hope for Kyle. But the young boy was so badly injured that he had no chance of survival. Heavy-heartedly, they turned off his life support machine. Together, the parents sat on their son's bed until Kyle breathed his last breath. Then he was gone. All three children became just a memory of the past. It was truly disastrous for the parents. Determined to make sure their children did not die in vain, the grieving Coble couple began to investigate the trucking industry and its shortcomings. With a history of speeding, Jorge Miguel Romero, the trucker responsible for the Cobles' life-taking crash, pled no contest to three counts of vehicular manslaughter. However, the Cobles wanted more than justice. They demanded change. This is an industry that's based on payment on miles driven, Chris Coble told Meredith Vieira. For a lot of truckers, if that truck isn't rolling, they're not getting paid, which really sets up an entire industry where it promotes danger and real safety concerns. These truckers are speeding, and they're tired, and we'd like to get that changed. And then, in the midst of their quest for justice, the couple encountered an eerie twist of fate. Six months had passed since the accident when a miracle happened. As Chris and Lori knew their beloved children would want them to be parents again, they decided to have more. Miraculously, Lori became pregnant with triplets. Two girls and one boy, just like before. The expecting parents truly believed it was no coincidence. I think it's a miracle. I think Kyle, Emma, and Katie had something to do with this, says Lori. I think they helped us. I think they made this possible. The couple's three little miracles will never replace the unique children who died the year prior, but the Cobles believe the children taken by the accident are somehow responsible for the life-altering coincidence. Your mind can't even think otherwise. Chris told Little Things. If you feel they're somewhere watching over you, protecting you, and something like this happens, it's hard to think that somehow they weren't involved in crafting this. Although they may never meet their siblings face to face, there are three happy 14-year-olds who share a special connection to a family that once was, and whose simple existence has helped two parents heal from unspeakable tragedy.